hello everyone in this video we will create this model in creo parametric 6.0 so this model is basically model money exercise so the dimensions mentioned here are in mm so let us see how to create in creo parametric 6.0 so select a new select a part uncheck this file name give the file name as per your wish say ok and from here select the mm as part solid because we want to work in mm say ok now here first of all we create this base feature which is 64 by 96 and then we will extrude up to 20 mm so let us create the base feature with the help of extrude select the top plane sketch view draw a center rectangle over here like this define the dimensions this dimension is 96 and this dimension is 64 now zoom fit this say ok and define the depth of extrusion to be 20 mm so from here I'll just create shading with edges ok now here you can see depth of extrusion is 20 mm and say ok now press ctrl D for the default orientation of this model now here we will create this M6 counter borehole with the help of hole command so for that select hole over here and select over here the standard M6 hole so drum, drop down over here select M6 by 1 so 1 M will be the thread of pitch select your counter bore ok now go to the placement select the face on which you have to create a hole select this face now here you you want to define the end dimensions for this hole from the edges ok so this dimension in x direction it is 18 mm and ok this this is 18 mm you can see and this is 32 mm so this will keep 32 mm ok now we'll go to shape and in shape you can see as this is a standard hole for M6 hole the standard depth for counter bore hole counter bore depth will be 6 mm counter bore dia will be 11.2 mm so we'll keep it as it is because these, these are the standard holes we can just increase the depth of this hole so we want up to last so just increase this control point and we can increase the height for this thread so we'll keep the height to be 25 from starting and say ok so in this way counter hole, hole is created now go to hole select this right click hide the note now we'll just mirror this counter hole towards this side for that select the hole go to mirror select the plane about which you want to mirror the hole say ok and go to mirror again and hole and right click on it and hide this ok so in this way we hide that note now we'll go on creating next profile which is this one so we'll create that profile so go to sketch select this right plane go to sketch sketch view ok so we'll switch off the plane display now we'll create we'll use it first of all references we'll create a profile like this ok like this now we'll create a fillet over here this and this fillet is define the fillet radius 15 mm right now we'll just offset this whole sketch select the offset from here select the loop select the offset and keep your value 12 mm offset as per drawing we are keeping minus value because we want in reverse direction simply say ok 
Now here you can see offset is created in reverse direction close from here now we'll just uh, close these loops like this like this okay now we'll create uh, one line we'll check here 12 mm or not yes it is 12 mm okay now we'll draw one line like this which you can see over here so we'll draw this line over here so we'll select the center point and draw that line which will be perpendicular to that line okay now we'll go on dimensioning so select this line and this line because the dimension is 45 degree uh, we know that this dimension is nothing but the half of this dimension that is 32 so we'll this define this to be 32 okay we also given this dimension from here to here this point this dimension is 146 which you can show over here 146 okay now we'll define one more dimension over here this and you can see I want this dimension because we are provided with this 32 mm distance so this is 32 plus this 12 mm we have to add so we'll select this line in this way and 32 plus 12 okay so our sketch is now fully defined we have provided all the dimensions and simply we'll close the sketch okay now we'll extrude this feature before that we'll change the filter over here so from geometry to sketch region okay now select this profile control control press and select this profile also. now here you can see icon will appear that is extrude icon so select this extrude icon we want extrusion to be uh, through symmetric extrusion and which will be 64 mm so define 64 All right and simply say ok All right now we will change it back to geometry now we will see this one line over here so we will select this line and we will go to sweep so we will create this feature with the help of sweep command ok we will just reverse the direction and we will sketch over here so simply go to sketch section sketch view we will draw a circle over here the diameter of that circle will be 52 mm okay so simply double click and 52 mm simply say okay so in this way feature will be created say okay now we'll create a round over here because you can see this feature is rounded over from top so go to the fillet over here or round feature now select this edge control this edge and this edge now here you can see full round fillet will be created simply say ok now we will just hide this one because we don't want it now now we will go with the next feature this feature we will create which is at a distance of 26 mm so for that we will go with the extrude command from here switch on the plane display from here plane display so sketch on this sketch view now select the references over here first of all again switch off this data references over here this this need this references close now from here we will select the wireframe model right 
now we are provided with the offset distance that is 26 mm so we'll sl simply select the offset select this offset offset it by 26 mm okay you can see a line created over here offset this also by 26 mm right so in this way we'll create one offset and close now next we'll create an arc which is of 55 mm radius so we'll create one arc over here simply select the arc arc command 3 point tangent arc command first sorry select again arc 3 point arc so draw the arc like this first point second point like this and define the dimension for this arc to be 55 mm so double click changes to 55 mm so select dimension from here change it to 55 so we need to delete one constraint over here delete this constraint double click on it 55 okay delete this constraint double click 55 so here you can see arc is not changing we'll just delete this arc okay we'll create arc like this okay define dimension 55 mm now see here the arc is created now we'll just connect this two point over here so select the here tangent option okay sketch view from here select shading with edges okay we want a point over here so select the reference first point close select the coincident constraint select this point and this point so this point you get coincident coincident now okay sketch view now we'll go and draw one line over here like this okay we can create one line like this like this okay like this okay and here one arc three point arc So escape over here or we can simply project this arc so simply select project and project this arc close okay here you can see there is a issue with this line Okay, so simply delete this line okay offset that line again so with the help of offset feature you can see offset feature over here okay offset that line by 26 mm distance okay now see here it is completely close uh, now go to coincident select this and this coincident okay now it is okay now say okay over here go to option go with symmetric depth we want symmetric extrusion the symmetric extrusion will be up to 12 mm simply keep the symmetric extrusion from here 12 mm simply say okay now we'll go with the round feature we want to round some feature so here you can see this feature is round this feature is round this feature also and this bottom feature also okay so go with the round command select the round feature one by one this feature we want to round after that this feature we want to round 
this feature this feature okay this front feature this feature also this feature this feature we can give a depth to an say simply okay so here a 2mm fillet will be created like this okay so we'll left with one more here we need one circular cut out that is 32 mm depth so simply sketch on this or you can extrude on this okay. select the references close draw a circle over here like this and the dimension will be 32 mm say ok and reverse the direction of extrusion and keep it through all say ok in this way our feature will be created so feature you can see right on the screen now ok so we can go with shading with uh, shading simply we will hide the axis point display we will go to view select here the model go to the appearances give some model texture color ok I will change it to this texture or select this model and change it to this steel ok now this is looking perfect thank you hope you like this video thank you for watching